Okay, step two, your media server. Your media server will be the software you'll need to stream the content to your iPhone, iPad, or smartphone. Install onto your computer. Please go to www.playon.tv and let's get started with the next part. Okay, welcome to playon.tv. Um, this is where you're going to get your media server, which is going to be downloaded into your computer and that's going to allow you to watch all this awesome TV content. Uh, also, too, this does work with Wii, PlayStation, and Xbox, and that can be streamed um, through your media server, through your Xbox, and then onto your TV. That's going to come in our part two video, and that'll explain a little bit more on how that works. Uh, for now, what you want to do is download their free trial, and just hit the big orange button, download free 14-day trial. Now, it is a 14-day you know, trial period, and uh, I did try it out, and after 14 days, I was so impressed that I was, you know, streaming all this awesome TV content through my iPhone and TV, and I purchased the one-year um, package. It's $39, and then after that, it's $19.95 for each additional year after that. For me, it's well worth it. I mean, they give me updates. I think even right now, I have to update the serve, uh, uh, the actual software right now. Okay, now I'm not going to actually download it because I've already got it on my computer, but you just hit the button, download, you know, go through the, go through the usual downloading steps. And I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like on my computer. All right, so that's my uh, VPN over here, and that's my play on. Double click, hit yes. Okay, and there you have it. That's my media server. That's exactly what play on looks like. Um, what you want to do is the first thing I usually like to do is hit system check. Now I'm on a Japanese IP right now. You hit the test button and it should work pretty fast. All right. And there you have it. I should get a high. Yep. Yeah, max. That's good. Um, also, uh, you can do like a computer performance to see, you know, how much, uh, um, processor performance you have and things like that. You can also see how much disk space you have in system memory RAM. Okay, now you should probably do this for a home PC or a really good uh, laptop computer. Probably a netbook would not be your best option. All right. So also they have a plugins folder and just go to Google and put play on plugins and then basically you download these plugins and you drop them into your C C program files, play on folder, plugins folder. And now you can get specific channels and, you know, you can get like Animal Planet and Cartoon Channel and Cartoon Network. I have a kid, so obviously, you know, you can see where my angle is here. Play at Playhouse Disney and those things, uh, TLC. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, hit General Settings, hit Start. Uh, sorry, made a mistake there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to my toolbar. I'm going to right-click my um, VPN. I'm going to hit the big button, connect. Okay, just let it all load up. <clears throat> okay. okay, there we have it. Perfect. We're now connected. Boom, there it is. You're going to hit the start button. That's really important to follow that step. It goes to VPN and then play on media server. Don't do it the other way around. I've had mistakes and that didn't work for me. Okay, don't worry, it says not found. There it is, boom, running, we're ready to go. Now you wanna click on the mobile access because we wanna get your iPhone hooked up, right? Uh, tick, enable mobile access. I'm using manual port 53. That seems to work very well. Hit mobile access test. Perfect, passed, we're good to go. The iPhone will work. Now enable, sorry, in, in order to get your iPhone to work, you're going to have to get the um, app from the App Store for your iPhone. Okay, so that's going to be our next part. Step three, install PlayOn app. Go to the App Store on your device and input PlayOn. Install it. It should look like the image below. It is a free app, by the way. Congratulations. You now have all the softwares and apps you'll need to turn your computer or media device into an awesome media streamer. Demo time as seen on my iPhone and my wife's iPod. Okay, now let's take a look at our demo and see how this looks on an iPod 4 Touch. Okay, what you're going to do is just select the Play On Media Server. 
Okay, it just takes a few seconds to load. It finds my home PC. There you go, perfect. I'm gonna select Hulu. I'm gonna select Popular. I'm gonna select Popular Shows, Family Guy, Full Episodes, and one of the newest ones that just came out. Okay. There we go. That's loading. That's perfect. I'm going to take an iPod for select the media server again. Finds the home PC. I'm going to select Hulu. Popular. Popular shows. I'm going to go with Saturday Night Live. Full episodes. Jim Carrey just came out. Sometimes it doesn't load. So what you got to do is just head, uh, go back and then try it one more time. There we go. Got it. It's a little secret. And just remember um, to always turn on your VPN first and then turn on your media server on your home computer. And that'll work perfectly every time. There we go. Saturday Night Live has just loaded. Now if you can see that, right? There you go. A nice Allstate commercial. So you know you're in America when you see an Allstate commercial. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our video. Good luck, and I hope you can get this to work on your home PC. If you have any problems or uh, any questions, please feel uh, free to add your comments below on our video. And uh, look for our part two video on how you can do this with your home TV through your Wii, PlayStation, or Xbox. All right, guys, thanks a lot for checking this out, and good luck.